Now that Santa Link has defeated the Grinch and brought back the Christmas spirit, we get a heart container. That's awesome. But we also get a brand new mask. Yes, that's right, we have God's Remains, which means we have just freed the orange giant who was trapped inside of the mask. So Link, once again, is transported into giant orange giant land. Yes, a very strange place indeed. There are bubbles, and mashed potatoes, and of course, giant orange people. <laughs> yes, those orange giants don't really talk an awful lot. And it seems that they can protect us in some way. And we'll learn what that way is, as soon as we find all four of them. And now that we've defeated Gott, it's no longer freezing and cold at the North Pole. That's right! It's spring! Springtime! It's nice and warm and sunny! And all the birds are chirping and getting twitter painted and all sorts of crazy stuff! So that's great news. Everything is back to normal. Aww. That's nice. And there are a couple of things we can do now that it's springtime. We can enter the Goron races! That sounds like fun, right? All you have to do is go to a specific part of Goron Village. It's this place right over here, where you can get a powder keg. A powder keg is just a giant Goron bomb, as you'll see in a moment. Figuron is here, he's doing A-OK -okay after falling off the cliff in front of Snowhead Temple. And he's going to give us a test. Before we can use the powder keg, he wants to make sure that we actually can use it. So he gives us a powder keg and tells us to blow up the entrance to the Goron Racetrack. So pick up the keg and you want to walk all the way over there. And I'm not going to show you the whole trip, I'll just cut to the end, okay? Basically, to reach the racetrack, all you have to do is follow the pathway that you took earlier when you were following the Goron Ghost. Only now, you take a right-hand turn here, and go up these cliffs, and at the top is the racetrack. And that looks like the Elder Sun, so let's talk to him. How's it going? Ah, well that's good to hear. He's no longer a spoiled crybaby. Now he's a big grown-up Goron. Uh-oh. Okay, never mind, he's still a crybaby. The only way to get him to stop crying is to open up the entrance to the Goron racetrack. Well, I can just sit and wait for the bomb to explode, or I can just shoot an arrow at it to make it explode ahead of time. So, I'll do that now. The Elder Son is now happy. He runs into the racetrack. And you can follow after him, and then talk to him, in order to join the race. As you'll see in a moment here, the Goron race track is just sort of a fun racing mini-game. 
where you can race as a Goron to see which one is the fastest. And of course, Link wants to win the race, right? So the way to win the race is by rolling. I prefer to go back here and get a head start on the race. I'm sure it only gives me about a half of a second of a head start, but wait until the end of the race and see how much I win by. Even a half second can help you out with the Goron races. So here in the races you'll notice that the Gorons keep running into each other to try to slow each other down. Which is good, you can try to hit the Gorons if you want. Here you want to dodge in and out of the trees. You can try to hit the Gorons if you want. But try not to get hit by the Gorons, because they might smash you into a wall, and then you'll lose your roll, and pretty much be guaranteed to lose the race. Okay, I'm coming up near the end of the race now. It looks like I only have two Gorons ahead of me. Let me see if I can slow them down. See, I hit the guy who was trying to sneak up past me, so he ended up falling backwards. And yep, there's the end of the racetrack in sight. And I'm the winner! By about half of a second! Okay, so I just barely won, but I won, and the prize is... What's the prize? We got gold! Gold dust! Well, what we want to do with the gold is take it to the mountain smithy! Visit the smithy, and he's going to fix up your sword! You see, as soon as it's springtime, the smithy will be able to improve your sword to make it better. That is, he'll improve it so it does more damage to enemies. However, this is only going to work a hundred times. So, after you use the sword a hundred times, it goes back to normal. I'm going to skip ahead a couple of days with the Song of Double Time. And let's see my brand new sword! Ooh, that's a fancy looking sword! But of course, now that I have gold dust, I can get an even better sword! See, he's talking about the gold dust right here. The smithy can actually weave the gold dust into those little holes in your sword to make it stronger. Alright, so this is how you get the strongest sword of the game. Your sword is probably twice as strong in this form as it is normally. So you'll have a much easier time fighting enemies in boss battles with your super strong sword. All right, he's doing it for free. It doesn't even cost money to get the best sword of the game. That's awesome. Uh, uh, uh oh. Well, don't tell me my video is messing up. Okay, well, it's looking like my video is messing up, but that's okay. There's not much left. It's the dawn of the final day, and I'm simply going to go in and get myself my brand new sword. Okay, Smithy, you've got a new sword waiting for me, right? Smithy? I've always wondered who this giant guy with the hammer is that's working with the Smithy. The giant is going, Ugo, Ugo, Ugo. I don't think they ever explain that character. It's very strange. Oh well, I suppose it doesn't matter. What matters is that I got the best sword of the game. And there's one more thing to do in Goron Village, and I'll cut most of it out because my video is currently acting all strange. After you get the Goron Elder Son to stop crying, you can light all the torches in the Goron City, then you can roll over the ramp to destroy one of the things which is above. One of them contains some rock sirloin, so you can pick it up and carry it all the way back to the mountain village 
and feed it to this hungry Goron right over here. He's very happy, and as a reward for helping him, he gives you the Don Jero mask. I have no idea who this Don Jero fellow is, or how they came up with this name, but the mask is named after him, and you can use it to conduct the Frog Choir, which is something we'll be doing much later on in this game.